I'm going to shoot this video of this Magrav enclosure. What this is is a piece of 4-inch PVC sewer pipe with two drain caps, and they can be these parts can be bought at a local hardware store. And uh, this is a 14-gauge um, cable. Now, what this is is uh, it started out as a uh, surge protector with a 12-foot cable. I cut it in half and I use one side for the input and one side for the output. It is the only way I could find some 14-gauge white uh, ma uh, material. They have black and I think they have other colors, but it was really hard to find white in 14-gauge. And these are cable glands which uh, give it some strain relief so it doesn't pull out. Uh, this is a dry run. I'm trying to fit the parts together. Uh, I want to make sure that everything fits and it goes according to plan. So when I nanocode it and, and do the final assembly, uh, hopefully I won't have any problems. <laughs> so anyway, uh, these are spacers. Now the spacers are made from the same material as this outer pipe. And what I did was I just cut a section of it out and then you just squeeze it together and it makes a nice spacer. And it's got a series of spacers in here with the stacker trays and a lower capacitor tray and uh, I'm gonna go over how this is uh, assembled so it has to be assembled upside down now here's the uh, here's these wires here uh, these are the wires for the electricity now uh, here's the last spacer to pull that out all right, so this is the capacitor's tray. And that in the center is a thermal switch. And I'll just kind of show this here. It's very compact and it's a little different. Uh, I try to simplify everything, try to keep the connections as simple as possible. Okay, so the idea I came up with was uh, the way this had to go into the tube um, you have to be able to connect the, these wires here to the lower stacker tray and then once it's together then you can connect the uh, the electricity electricity wires and the other things here uh, to make the final connections and those are accessible on the outside so that was the idea I came up with I half of the connections are on one side of the tray and the other half are, uh, on the other Okay, I'll set that over here. So, uh, I just want to go over how this thing is assembled. So, all the spacers together work like a compression. And it has to be assembled upside down. So, I'm just going to I'm just going to push this up. There we go. So, okay, so that's the bottom tray. Now, th this is just a dry run, so none of these wires are cut to the right lengths or anything. Okay, so the, here's the next one up here. That's the that's the middle. There's the spacer, and this is this is the the top stacker tray. Okay, so I'll get one of those little right here. Here, I'll take this middle one. Okay, so the stacker trays are all made the same way. It's it's a sandwich between. Uh, two pieces of corrugated plastic with a 20 millimeter GANS ball in the center and it's held together with these cable ties and these are just regular uh, mag wrap coils okay so here's the way it goes in turn the tube upside down and you start by putting this the top goes in first like this and then it gets pushed down and then a spacer gets put in. And then the middle goes in next. Whoops, right this way. Then it gets pushed down. Well, it gets connected. <laughs> and then <laughs> you get another spacer here. And the last stacker tray would be the bottom one, and that these pieces get connected. 
and that gets pushed down again. Okay. Okay, then this uh, capacitor spacer goes in here like this. And then the capacitor tray goes in like this. Well, the wire get these these wires get connected, and then uh, I'll push it down. And then the last thing to get connected. Well, this spacer goes in first, and the last thing to get connected would be the uh, electrical wires. Now. Uh, I had to come up with a different way to make these final connections where the nano state uh, connects to the matter state. So this is what I came up with. So this is uh, the copper wire which is going to be nano coated and this is the stranded wire which is the stranded wires here that connect to it. So the, what I came up with was something that works sort of like a wire nut. So I'm going to take the stranded wire and I'm going to wrap it all the way around like this all the way around and up to the end and past the end and then this is a piece of clear vinyl tubing and it's 1 8 inch ID by 1 quarter inch OD and it's just twisted on over the top of that to hold it together and it's pretty secure and I don't know if this is going to work I'm hoping it's going to work uh, but it seemed logical to me so that's what I'm going to try and I'll see if it works Anyway, that's how I'm going to make these connections on these pins right here. So that's how those parts get connected. And then the last part that gets put in here is the, the base. And uh, it's fastened with screws. And it's turned upside down. And the top section goes on like this, or the top spacer goes on. And the top spacer is intentionally, well, the sum total of all the spacing is intentionally taller than this outside piece by only a little bit. So this way, compression, when this is pressed down on it, the compression will hold all the pieces together. And then you put three screws in the top. Okay, that's the, how it goes together, and that's the end of the video.